Benin Republic stop panel Buhari government sent to pick agitator Sunday Iboho, popularly known as Sunday Adeyemi. Hello, my wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. This time around, the federal government of Nigeria has been very much aware that they have lost the battle over Sunday Iboho, popularly known as Sunday. A Sunday Adayemi, popularly known as Sunday Boho. <coughs> All this while, we've been hearing the news that Sunday Boho has been, you know, freed. He can move around. He can do this one and other one in Benin. Even in Nigeria here, he has no case to answer that court has awarded the federal government of and his team so, so, so money they will pay him in compensation of his things they destroyed. That he has not done anything bad. And Benin, Benin Republic government has been waiting for them to come up with, you know, evidences of uh, allegation they leveled on Sunday Boho. They are not forthcoming. But as soon as they have seen that, they have, you know, cleared him for now to be moving around, pending on when the ruling on his matter will be. Federal government has sent his team of panel. To come and pick him up to Nigeria, who does that? What has he done? These people, you know what baffles me? They left everything they need to fight in Nigeria to be going to abroad and be bringing people in abroad back home. They refuse to buy, uh, fight Boko Haram. They refuse to buy, uh, fight banditry. They refuse to fight, fight Fulani menace in, in, in Nigeria in all look and cranny. They refuse to fight kidnappers. What they want is anybody that speaks break away because of this one and the other one. Anybody that agitates, no matter where you are, they will use the whole of the money in their country to pay that country in order to hand them over that person. Have you seen it before? Anyway, guys, let's get the details of this news. As the panel they sent to pick Sunday Adeyemi uh, up arrived, Let's get the details before we do that. Please, if you've not subscribed, endeavor to do so. More importantly, on the bell notification. Thank you and God bless. Let's get the details. Femi Falana, an activist lawyer, has disclosed that the Benin Republic government refused to put freedom fighter Sunday Boho on a waiting plane after his arrest in the French-speaking country in July. Falana said that the Nigerian government told Benin Republic counterpart to repatriate Sunday Boho after his arrest. The senior advocate spoke during an interview on BBC Yoruba on Tuesday. He noted that Benin Republic, however, informed the Mohamed Buhari led government to understand that obeying the law is sacrosanct to them. Yes, yeah, so they did get it now. I hope you are following. They told the so-called Buhari, the Max Wiara, and his full Anikaba, that to obey the law is their paramount responsibility, is the paramount thing. That it is, it, they owe it at, as a duty to respect the law. Let's continue. According to Falana, the Nigerian government asked the Benin Republic government to repatriate Sunday Iboho. In fact, we heard that they have been even sent an aircraft to be used to bring him down to Abuja. The Benin, gov the Benin government made it, made its Nigerian counterpart to understand that this is not a lawless society. Iboho was arrested in Kotonu after he fled Nigeria recently. He was arrested in airport in Kotonu while trying to board a flight to Germany. The Yoruba nation agitator fled Nigeria to Benin Republic after he was declared wanted by the Department of State Services DSS. Are you getting it? What is happening now? If these people have been, you know, people to reckon with, people to go with, people to, you know, work with, you will find out that things will go the normal way of diplomatic relation or relationship. You need to go. But on their own side, hell no. Hell no. 
they don't care about the law they don't care about what is what is going to happen nothing of whatsoever they care all they know is what whichever way so long as it to please them do it whether the law is being violated that is why nigeria is not a lawless country nobody cares about whatsoever you do nobody cares whatsoever they do government don't care all they need is to violate law at any given time at any particular time okay look at the minister of uh, of uh, labor you know threatening the doctors that any period they go for their strike they won't be paid who does that? Which, if, which other way would this minister want these uh, 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 doctors to express their self? It is only by going this strike. Their salary ought to be paid by law. But because he's a politician, he is only thinking about his selfish interests. I don't even understand why they call that man a doctor. A doctor that is not feeling the plight of his colleagues because he has become a politician. A doctor that don't care how his colleague, the residents one, government is taking care of them in the in the in the distance. The doctor don't care. Yet he wants to portray himself as a doctor. Yet he wants to answer a doctor. Yet he wants to live as a doctor. But considering the fact that he has decided to join the politics, he should behave as as if he has been in their shoe for crying out loud. The whole agreement agreed with these particular people, their leaders. None of them is being honored. None of them is, is being looked into. None of them is being talked about. He is only using diplomatic and political terms and political behavior on them. Coming to, to, to uh, number one number one demand, he will just from down and do and do one one quarter of it and go to the other one and do half. Nothing is being done straight and straightforwardly. No. And these people are saying they are the people at the helm of affairs of the heart of the country. No, treat us well. If you find, if you know the number of Nigerian doctors in U.S., in London, in every other in Canada, you will marvel. Why are they living? Why are they living? No, no social security. No, 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 uh, no, no, no good salary. No insurance. Nothing of whatsoever. You are just dead working on your own. That's why you see doctors moving out, moving out on daily basis. Why? Because politicians in Nigeria, this era of politicians as we speak, they don't care about the law. They don't care about anything happening. They don't care about whether there is international law or whether there is a law in that their country. They don't care to know. All they want is what? Anyhow it is, as, as long as it will, it will be beneficial to them, as long as they will be happy, as long as they will, they, they, they will be comfortable, guys, do it that way. Do it that way. You are sending people and playing to pick Sunday Boho up. It's not going to work. Benin cannot be Nigeria, a lawless place. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Come tell me your own opinion in the comment section. Please, as you comment. Comment constructively and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.